folks. This is the Robozoid, and Happy New Year, I guess. Uh, will it be a Happy New Year? I suppose that's really up to all of us. But somehow I just can't get, I can't shake this feeling that 2023 is going to be the same kind of disaster that 2022 was. I mean, while well, all the fools are basically gathered around with the popcorn, the summer sausage, and the beer, and the whatever, watching that ball drop, and all these rich, pretentious bastards uh, pretending that they've that they know a lot more than you do, well, uh, <laughs> you got to ask yourself this question. What's going to be different about it? Is anything going to change? I have a funny feeling that things are going to stay pretty much the same in this coming year as they were in the past year. Hate to sound like a pessimist. I hate to sound like a total negative Nelly here, but I don't see anything really changing. Yeah, I'm sure a few of the woke brigades have given up on trying to fight this and that, and that battle. But let me tell you something, the things you're going to see throughout the coming year that are not going to change at all from the past year may disturb you, shock you, not surprise you. And they certainly don't surprise me. And don't expect things to change. So now I ask you, what the hell makes you think that 2023 is going to be any different than 2022 was? It's going to be the same junk, the same garbage over and over again. I hate to sound like a pessimist, but I honestly think that's the truth. That I think nothing's really going to change. Nothing's going to get any better in time. Unless action is taken. Unless things are made to change what's going on right now. We see just another stupid ball drop showcasing a bunch of stupid singers that I've never heard of before, uh, hosted by one of the stupidest men ever on television, this Ryan Seacrest creature. I don't care if Dick Clark is dead. I say dig him up, prop him up, and have him, do, and have him host these New Year's Eve shows. We have seen woke trash on streaming services that suck terribly, but thankfully have been canceled. Because inexperienced writers didn't bother to even study the source material. We've seen these crazy Trump trading cards that sell for 99 bucks each. And uh, yeah, that's just absolutely crazy. This is just another ego stroke for the Donald to try to win a second term. Well, forget it. I'm off the Trump train. I mean, God bless him. Trump tried, but he let the Democrats get in his way. But he let creeps like Con Job Best get in the way. And yeah, we call him Con Job Best because he knows how to con people best. And that really cost him a lot. My support for now goes to Ron DeSantis because he's doing such a great job in Florida that I think he'll do an even greater job for the rest of the United States. This past year, we also had Tulsi Gabbard defect from the Democrat Party to probably an independent. Remember, she's still an anti-gun zealot. But she is still very smart. We've seen unisex bathrooms become a thing, which thankfully in some states is still outlawed, and let's hope it stays that way. We've seen this Leah Thomas freak beat real women in women's water sports, uh, the swimming Olympic event. We've seen traditional marriage pretty much vanish in the haze in the wake of gay marriage everywhere being legal. We have seen FDBT rubbish being taught in schools and also being taught that it's superior to straight relationships. We've seen our military go from tough as nails soldiers to little sissy boys that have to include the alphabet people, that have to take sensitivity training and have to take self-awareness courses. We've seen our military become a social experiment under this evil regime in the Biden administration. Our military is our protective fighting force, damn it! Not a social experiment, you stupid bastards, you! And also we saw some bald-headed freak basically get busted for stealing women's luggage, this Sam Brinton creature, who was supposed to be an advisor of sorts to the Joe Biden regime, only because Biden would only hire diversity hires, not qualified people. We've basically seen Biden switch out one idiot for another, another stupid diversity hire who is not qualified for her job. 
We have seen third wave feminism turn women into saps. And then, of course, you had the dummies on CNN continuing to lie and lie over and over again, complaining about Trump like he's still president. He's not anymore. Get over it. That's not to say that everybody on the left side of the aisle is an idiot. You got a few on the right who are just complete morons who give terrible, terrible advice to Trump. And, well, look where it ended up. Look where it got him. I mean, for instance, I don't know if this is true or not, but apparently... The wall banger, that's the one on the left, of course, there, uh, had been misadvised Trump into pardoning Hunter Biden. Pardon him for what? He's never been convicted of anything. I mean, yeah, you got your share of misfits on the Fox News channel that are just as bad like the aforementioned Sean Vanity. Tucker, on the other hand, I won't say a crossword about him. Other than the fact that he laughs like Crichton from Red Dwarf, uh, he's actually pretty smart and pretty uh, on the nose about things. You have seen this senile, bumbling old bastard screw up everything in the last couple of years. Yep, from totally undoing all of Trump's policies to trying to get us involved in a war between Ukraine and Russia, which isn't our business, and also a complete surrender in Afghanistan. These things are ridiculous enough. But what's worse is that the idiots in the media still blame Trump for all these things. We've also seen Biden and his criminal gang get away with a lot in the past couple of years. And you know what? It's not going to get any better. It's just not. I don't know. Unless they throw the old codger out on his keister, they'll probably, maybe, who knows, but they'll probably end up replacing him with, well, that Kamala Harris creature. Like, that's going to be any better. Even Saudi TV was making fun of this old codger and his senility. We've finally seen this sick old Harridan Pelosi finally step down as House Speaker. And of course, we're not going to get much better under this guy, Kevin McCarthy. He's just another rhino who's going to kowtow and cave to whatever the Democrats want. Then to add further embarrassment... You have the two stupidest women ever to serve in a public office holding a Ukraine flag as opposed to an American flag. And note the way they're holding the flag. It's backwards. You had a failed has-been comic tell everybody the Holocaust wasn't that bad, that it was a white-on-white -white crime and all that. Yeah, and this dreadlocked idiot didn't learn anything from that, so she repeated the same mistake. Her dreadlocks are on too tight. And why did she take up a Jewish stage name anyway if she hates Jews so much? Never, ever trust a guy who shows up to a business meeting wearing shorts and a t-shirt. And above all else, don't ever trust anybody whose name is hyphenated. We've already seen this little stupid freak Sam Bankman Freed uh, go to prison for swindling a bunch of people. Well, basically, I like to think of him as the mini Madoff. We have seen betrayal but from both parties. Both parties have abandoned us, Democrats and Republicans. They might as well be called Demicans and Republicrats. I mean, you want to talk about a smooth transition? Then fine, go ahead. Quite frankly, that just means that nothing's really going to change. So I'm just warning you that... Things are not going to get any better in the coming year. I mean, I hate to sound pessimistic. I hate to sound negative. But, I don't know, I guess you guys kind of expect me to be curmudgeonly and negative. But uh, I make no such New Year's resolutions because who keeps those things anyway? But frankly, yeah, the thing's running out of power. I got to recharge it. This has been the Robozoid saying, don't expect anything big in 2023. Yeah, and don't even bother praying for it. You know how prayers don't get answered these days. Anyway... Power to the music in the streets. Sorry to be so negative, but we've got so many people out there who don't listen to the fans, and, and they seem to have real trouble remembering that wokeness is weakness. I need to recharge this thing. See you with my 2021 memoriam video if you're still interested.